everybody loves welcome to my channel this mama loves crafty cuteness okay you guys so i am here with the design team share yes it is for my little crafty shop um you can find lisa on all these different social medias and then also as well use the hashtag in your craft when you are finished so that everybody is able to view the creations that you've created and then that way people can learn from you and they can either recreate your creation or um, alter it okay i also have a coupon code which is dina10 you can get 10 percent off your total and your total purchase by using this discount code which is dina d-i-n-a the number 10 um, at checkout okay and then the dies that i ended up using for this project i ended up using the surprise ornament which the surprise ornament is the ornament that comes with this special die right here that has an opening and then there's another little special piece right here that is a closure for that opening that you would open, be able to pull out um, the little tab to get to the surprise sequence that is gifted inside there. So it's like a gifting ornament, okay? Then also I ended up using these sets. I ended up using um, the little ghosty. And then I ended up using the word bootiful. I did take it out because I wanted to share something with you for that. Okay. And then um, Lisa has these beautiful rose, roses, rolled roses that are in her um, shop as well. And um, I do have some that I have already opened. So um, I did end up using some of these flowers. And I wanted to point out something that I found out recently that I thought was amazing. So Lisa has white flowers in her shop as well. So I ended up getting a white flower and I ended up using some of this Dilutions spray, which comes in so many different colors. This is a purple one too. Um, and there are shimmer sprays. And all I did was spray this white rose and look how beautiful it turned out. So I ended up ordering some more of the white roses from her so that I can use some more of my delusional sprays, dilusional sprays. And then also um, I was going to um, use some of Timmy's uh, sprays on here as well and see how those hold up. Okay. So my first project to share is this little boot. Um, it's a little witch's boot. And I ended up using Frankie Garcia's 12 by 12 paper. And I used the corner that had the cobweb on it. And so I made this little witch's boot. And this is the ghosty that I was um, talking about that I shared from Lisa's shop. Um, she is just on foam. I put her on foam to give her some dimension. Um, I gave her a little, <laughs> I did her face in foam. So she's got like a little crooked smile right there. And I love doing the little uh, faces out of foam because I can um, manipulate the foam to make, um, you know, a tighter smile or a wider smile. And same with the eyelashes. If I want to curve the eyelashes in, I can curve the eyelashes in. Okay. Then also I used a foam, um, glitter foam for her hat. And then I just used a glitter bow that comes with the set. So I always tend to use the hat and the bow because I think they're just so adorable together. I used a uh, brad, I took the little pieces off the back and I put a heart brad up there. And then I used one of my little bats that's in my stash. This little bow is in my stash and I just made two pieces so that it looks dimensional and I folded one part up so that it has more dimension. This was a charm that my friend Veronica had gifted me. Hey Veronica, it's a little gold spider. I did make some holes in this little boot um, I guess my tape is not working right there. I got to put some more tape. Um, I ended up uh, putting some um, shoelaces in here. And then I have one of Frankie's little cut apart sets right here. And then one of his little foam, I mean, uh, not foam, chipboard pieces with the pumpkin. And so that is my first project. Okay. And then my second project um 
I ended up using the ornament and the ghost and I've created this little um, ghost. This again is with Frankie's um, Luna collection. Um, I used a six by six paper in the background and then I used a 12 by 12 piece for her little, uh, the little ghosties little sheet. And there, like I said, see how you can, see how you can kind of manipulate the smile. I was able to manipulate the smile, you know, kind of going one way and then manipulate it to go another way. Well, actually, um, it doesn't look so manipulated on this one. I got other projects where I made it tighter, but, um, I did the same thing. Oh, and I add feathers to the top too. That's my, that's my little thing. I always put feathers on my witch's hats. I have to have feathers. And then, um, I ended up putting some lace on here. So she's like, she's got little frillies going on here because she's like ready to go to the ball, the ghost ball. And then I have a spider from AliExpress. Here is a little puffy sticker from Frankie's Luna collection. I added glitter uh, cardstock to go around this ornament. These are some of Lisa's white flowers that I had shared. Um, and of course I did the yellow one before that. So I would have probably sprayed these maybe either um, a light, light, light pink. And then here's a flower that I created and I just used some of those little... Um, what are they, little uh, balls that are like um, base fillers, I guess I call them. And then I used um, a sequence mix that I put together just to match uh, Luna, um, Frankie's collection. And this, like I said, is a surprise shaker. I did realize that I used some larger pieces because I used the kitty cats. Um, and I have some little squirrelies and then I have some large stars. But it's okay because those ones will still be left behind inside here. But as I said, it's a surprise ornament. So all you do is just pull out the little piece and then the little uh, shaker mix will come out just like that. Okay. And so then you can gift your favorite shaker mix inside there. But I think it turned out darling. So, and then of course, uh, when I go to gift this, I will put a string through there or a hook so that it will keep it attached so that it won't open during uh, transportation. Okay. And then the next one I had mentioned, um, I had this beautiful uh, die. Now, on my next project, I ended up cutting the boo out so I took this part off right here the the t-i-f-u-l and I just kept the b-o-o -O, which is the boo okay so here is the next project that I created there is Lisa's flowers that I shared here are some uh, leaves that were gifted to me and then also I ended up making um, a Mickey spider here with a spider die. I have a candy corn here and then there's the word boo. So I just went ahead and added the word boo. So, you know, you technically get four different um, words in here, but if you cut off the boo, you get five. So you have a versatile um, word right here. I used a glitter mix that I had created um, that is what a, what I consider a traditional uh, mix inside here that I added. And so that is my second ornament that I made. So these are all the little projects that I, oops, that I created um, using Lisa's um, uh, ghost and ornament dies um, and her flowers. And like I said, if you decide that you want these dies in your um, stash, just use the coupon code DINA10 at checkout. Definitely go and show Lisa some love. She's got some awesome charms also as well in her shop and a couple other little items that you may have to add to your stash. I'm telling you guys, you won't be disappointed. These are just some amazing dies. And I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys all on the next video. Bye, guys.